How's it going guys? Hope you're having a good day. Let's jump into a game of chess. It's my first game of the day. I didn't even play yesterday either. All right, we're playing white. That means London system. Let's see what we get into. So, um, yeah, I've been having a pretty good day. I went on a... The weather has gotten so much nicer suddenly, guys. So much nicer. This morning, it was in the 70s. Okay, hold on, guys. Something just triggered. Is this guy playing the modern? Is he going to be push or the... Well, it's the Indian game, but this, a lot of times they're going to fiend keto here. So I'm going to switch it up. I'm not going to play E3 yet, because if he plays G6 and fiend keto's his bishop, I want to switch to the Jobava. We're going to do knight out. Now, if he pushes this pawn, I can bring my pawn right to the center, right? This knight supports that square. So you want to... If they're playing one of these slow modern openings where they don't contest the center... You don't need to do the normal London setup. Mm-hmm. There we go. So I'm glad I noticed that. Now we can grab this center right away. And our plan is this, guys. We're going to move our queen up to here, which sets up a battery. That way we can trade off the dark square bishop. We're also going to castle long so that our, our rook ends up here. And we have a double battery going on. We're going to have a battery going this way with the rook and queen and a battery going this way with the queen and bishop. So that is how I play against the modern, which I prefer calling rather than the Indian game, because the Indian game, I think, is just when they bring their knight out first, right? Like if we go back, yeah, see? Right there, it became the Indian game. So that is less descriptive to me than the modern, which is this whole setup about g6, bishop here, d6 i don't know guys i don't know the technical term for this like what what is more accurate in other words doesn't really matter but i think of it as the modern they transpose into each other okay so he's bringing his knight out he's not gonna he's not gonna come out here yet interesting let me think about this. Uh, well, actually, no, I don't need to think. We're just gonna bring our queen up. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, can I go ahead and put my bishop here? And then I remembered that I hadn't played this move yet. I just talked about it. <laughs> so on the next move, we're gonna have to see what to do. I, I'm very curious. If he doesn't bring his bishop out, should I? Ooh. Okay, this guy got spooked. He got spooked. He's not fianchettoing, guys. He is not fianchettoing his bishop. He's going for this. Now, if I take... And he takes... Oh my gosh. Let me think here. If I go right here and he takes the pawn, then he's threatening my knight. Oh. Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We spooked him, guys. This guy knows what he's doing. If you just play the normal modern opening, when your opponent has this set up, it can be pretty dangerous. I've had pretty good success with it, with people who are, you know, kind of on autopilot. So what do we do here? I feel like just taking. If we take, he's going to probably recapture with the pawn. If we trade queens, guys, here's the thing. His knight is unguarded, right? So I'm going to get to put my bishop here. Well, no, then he's just going to fiend keto. Oh, man, this is a spectacular move. I don't know what to do. This is something that I'm going to have to look at in game review. But for now, all right, let's think about this. If I take, he recaptures with the knight, let's say. Then I could bring my... 
I wonder if I shouldn't just move my bishop out of the way. Let's say I move my bishop here, and then he takes. Well, now I jump in here with a double attack on his knight. So he's going to fianchetto. Now he's got two defenders, the queen and the bishop. Okay? Then, maybe I just castle on out of there. But then I'm down a pawn, right? I am down a pawn. And this pawn is defended by this knight. Like, when he takes, he's defended, so I can't just grab it with my queen. I was thinking if I grab with my queen, then I have a double attack on the knight. Oh, man, 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 man. So, bishop here, pin the knight. Or just take this pawn. If he t Okay, so we looked at if the knight takes. So, I take the pawn... Knight takes, I don't really have to do anything yet. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Then if I take the knight, he recaptures with the pawn, I take his queen, he loses castling, then I castle with check. That's pleasant, that's pleasant. Oh my gosh. How about if I push? No, if I push, he's just going to take my bishop. That doesn't make sense. Then I take his knight. He does double his pawns, but oh. Guys, I'm overthinking this. This is the kind of thing that you're not going to figure out real time. I'm just going to take, or should I? Yeah, I'm going to take. Let's go ahead and take. I really overthought that and didn't come to any conclusion. <laughs> and then I just made a move. That's a lot of times how it is. Oh, man. So now if he takes, I have to take his queen right away. If he takes with the pawn, I have to take his queen. Because I've got a bishop hanging and a queen hanging. Wait, is, am, I, am I sure about that? What if I just castle? Like, let's say he takes the pawn and I castle. Now I have a battery. Let's say he takes the bishop. If I take his queen, he just captures with the knight. So yeah, that does not work. That just loses a bishop. So if he takes, I could also just put my bishop right here. That's an idea. If he takes with the pawn... I move my bishop over to here, and we set up this trade. He takes, I take... Oh, then I can't castle. Then I can't castle. Oh. Oh, goodness. All right, if he takes with the knight, I am going to castle. What? Okay, I was not expecting, I was not expecting that, guys. Okay, <laughs> see, that's why sometimes, at least at my level of chess, it doesn't make that much sense to think for so long, because there's a good chance your opponent is going to surprise you, either because you completely missed the best moves, or your opponent plays something that is really not a good move, and so you legit just didn't consider it. I don't know which one this is. I feel like this is not a good move. So I can go bishop to here, hitting the queen. If he blocks, I just take with the pawn or bishop. Or I can go bishop to here, offering this trade. Or, I mean, my bit, my bishop is defended. I could just take that pawn. That seems risky. That seems risky. 
If I take, he takes, I take. If I go here and he blocks, I just take, and then he's going to jump his knight back, but then he's walking into a pin, right? Um, I'm going to do that. Let's just save our bishop for now. So he either has to move his queen, which I think would be a bad move, or he has to block with the bishop and go ahead and give up that bishop, which I might not even... I might just put my bishop here to prevent castling. This feels like a safe-ish move, right? Okay, he's willing to trade off the bishop. Um, he's willing to trade off the bishop. That doesn't mean that we have to, but... Because I could go here. Right? I could go here, which prevents castling, and then if he moves back, I can trade then, and that'll also prevent castling, right? Because he either has to recapture with the rook or the king. Yeah, I kind of like that move. Let's let's prevent him from castling. Oh, hold on. Hold on. That's a lovely square for the bishop, I think. Now, if I do that and he takes this pawn, I take the queen. He captures with one of those pieces. Yeah, that let's do that. So I might give back the pawn. That would be fine. Fine with me. He, he can't castle this way now. And if he puts his bishop back here, I will trade right away. Right? My next move is... Let's see, I can kick out the knight. The knight has no... Oh, the knight has nowhere to go. So if he does something, like... I don't know. What could he do? He could put his bishop back here, and I can win the knight. No, no, then he can jump here, because it's defended by the bishop. Complicated. Okay, so yeah, if he moves his bishop back, I'm just going to take that trade right away. Okay, but now, oh shoot, now the knight is guarding this square. And the bishop, oh yeah, the bishop is too. Um, let's go ahead and, is there any danger with this knight? Let's see, he could go here, which is actually pretty annoying. Um, okay, I didn't think this through very well. I think I'm going to jump in here and hit his bishop. But I really wanted to castle. I also want to bring my, my other pieces out, you know? So what are the threats here? He's going to jump here, and what do I do with my bishop? I can't even go back here. He's got two attackers. This was not a good idea, guys. This was not a good plan. I should have just traded off bishops. This is going to be an inaccuracy in the game review. I can push this pawn forward, hit the knight. That's going to just encourage him to jump here. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, what a mess. What a mess, you guys. I'm thinking maybe h3, just to prevent the knight from coming in, and that will also let me play g4, which I think would win the knight, or win a piece. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we do not want him jumping here to harass my bishop. And he can't jump there, he can't jump there. 
He can jump. No, he can't jump there. My bishop's guarding. So now this knight is kind of restricted. He can't go forward, which is good. And I'm threatening g4, pawn to g4. Wait, he can just jump right there. What am I doing? Oh, no, 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 no. If he jumps there, I go right here and I attack the rook. Rook has to move. And we've destroyed castling and I'm pretty much happy, I think. Let's see. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? Why can't he jump right here? Why did I think this knight was trapped? <laughs> Goodness. Uh. Okay, guys. How's this knight doing? He can jump backwards a couple of places. If I attack that knight, he's going to jump right here. How do I head that off? How do I head that off? Is there any way... Let's see, I can also... I have a check. Let's look at our checks. Bishop out to here is check. He pushes the pawn, and I would have to back up. So that doesn't really accomplish anything, does it? Um, I'm going to go ahead, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and castle. I'm chickening out. We're just going to castle. One of my few advantages in this position is that I can castle, and black can... Oh, he's going to castle the same way now. Um... Now, if I go here, that looks like I win the queen, but he's just going to push that pawn, right? So, yeah, I did see that diagonal. I wonder if a better move would be huh, knight to here. Because then if he castles, I can grab that pawn with check. I also have this move because well, he can go right here, though. I can kick out this knight, so I can go... No, I can't. Hmm. Big knight to here. Threatening that if he castles, I grab this pawn with check. Queen, or sorry, bishop to here kind of... The only move he has is to block. He could bring his knight back, or he can push a pawn. If he brings his knight back, what difference does that make? Nothing, really. Nothing. Knight to here. Let's say he pushes the pawn. Then I then I go here, and I'm hitting the bishop, which is nice, because the bishop is stuck. Guys, the bishop is stuck right now. Oh, if I jump my knight, I lose this pawn, by the way. Hopefully you guys noticed that, because I just noticed it. But that bishop is st stuck currently. If I can get an attack on him, that would be very nice. Okay, so I think let's attack the knight. He's going to jump back. I'm going to go here. He's going to move the rook, attacking me. What am I going to do? Well, I could bring my queen out to here, and then we win a pawn. No, because the knight's guarding the pawn. Never mind. Pawn, knight jumps back. push this pawn, this knight jumps back. We can definitely delay his castling and take a bunch of space on the queen side. Should we go for it, guys? Oh, but that traps my bishop. If I push this pawn, 
right? Because remember, this knight will not be there guarding it. But then I can attack the bishop. All right, we're going for it. This knight only has one safe square. Okay. And now we can attack this knight. And I think he only has one safe square. Thank goodness for my undeveloped knight guarding that one square, huh? It's kind of funny. But guys, check this out. I think we might be able to trap his bishop, right? Because this knight is going to move. And then, boom, I push the pawn. He takes. I take with this pawn. Where does the bishop go? Not here. Not here. Not here. And not here. I, we got it, guys. We're winning a piece. That is a good move that I did not see. I did not see that at all. Oh, gosh. Um, uh-oh. Can I put my queen right here? Is that crazy? He could attack with a pawn. Yeah, that's, that's a little sketch. That's a little sketch. Oh, but wait. That would also pin that knight, which would be really nice. So if I go here and he attacks with a pawn, then I have to drop way, I, I drop back to here. That does weaken his king because I he has to castle on that side, right? Um, if I put my queen here, I'm blocking my bishop too. Oh man. Um, I could jump. Hold on. Queen here, queen here, queen here. Both of those block the bishop. If I go here, I get kicked, but that does weaken his king side, or the, the side he's going to castle on, I think. So if I go here, if he pushes, that really blocks in this bishop, too. So let's do that. We're going to provoke a weakness, guys. I hope. <laughs> I hope that's what I'm doing. Then we're just going to drop back to here. Now, if he doesn't push, I'm going to attack this knight. Just push this pawn. And if the knight moves, I grab the rook. If the knight doesn't move, we take it. We have multiple things we can do here. If he doesn't push that pawn, that's very important. It's a big if. But this piece is basically trapped, as you can see. Both squares the bishop can go to are guarded. This piece is pinned because of that unguarded rook. So, I don't know if I'm playing this well, guys, but... I, f I feel like I'm winning, but you never know. There could be something I'm missing, something really basic even. Who knows? But if he castles, if he takes this moment to castle, what are we going to do? There's a hanging pawn here that we can grab. Wait a minute. I have two attackers on this knight. That might be the play. Just grab the knight with the bishop. So if he doesn't play pawn to c5, we've got so many moves here. Now the good thing is, or the good thing is we have a lot of threats we're making. The bad thing is all of these can be countered by pushing c5. So that, that increases the chances that my opponent finds this move, which I think is the best move. I think that's the move he needs to make. 
So that's actually bad. We, it would be nice if there were like three or four different threats that each had a different way of solving them. That would be fantastic. But since all of these threats can be countered by danger levels, what? Okay, well that was incredibly unexpected, guys. I don't know what this guy is doing. He's giving up this night? Is he giving up this night or am I crazy? Take the night, it's undefended. Okay, he might take a pawn or something. I don't care. I don't care. We're just gonna grab. This pawn is undefended. I can grab that. Um, I could put my bishop here and, and attack the rook and knight. Where can this knight move? If I... Um, okay, we can pin that knight. Bishop to here is a massive pin of that knight, guys. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Is that a good idea? How do I attack it? I need also, I need to attack it uh, a second time, right? So let's, let's start with that. It feels like a good move. Now he cannot grab that bishop. But how do I attack the knight? Hmm. And he needs two moves to unpin. Well, he can just push a pawn. But then I take. He takes. He has an outpost. I might just trade off, guys, because I'm ahead of full piece. Plus four. Trading is probably good. Okay. Let's think about this. If I just take he doubles his pawns i've got two nice pawns in the center that was a really good move because that was also a hanging pawn now this pawn is pinned i could just push this pawn you guys if i push that pawn he cannot take and then I'm threatening to push the pawn again and attack his queen. That's not that much of a threat. Um, that was a good move. Let's see. If I take, he takes. Or does he take with the queen? No, that would still be pinned then. Take, take. Mm, tricky, tricky. Do I need this light square bishop? My opponent doesn't have one. So it's not like I need my light square bishop to counter a serious threat, you know? So if I just go ahead and trade, that might be better. That might be something for us, guys. Um, I can also take the pawn take 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 that doesn't seem that good but oh wait 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 yeah i, I like having the idea of my bishop here the the idea i'm sorry i like the idea of having my bishop here and then if he wants to trade off that's fine i can push the pawn Let's let's push that pawn for now. Let's push the pawn for now. That can't hurt. And I need to start playing faster, guys. I'm down to 11 minutes. 
So I am I am cognizant of the time, and I definitely need to pick up the pace. I think I'm just going to grab this pawn, though, because, I mean, he can't take with this pawn. He has to take with the bishop. Wait, how about we trade off bishops first? Bishop to here, take, take, grab the pawn. Oh, that sounds good, actually. Bishop to here. If he backs up, oh, yeah, he could just back up. That would be smart. No, no, no. Then I take the rook. This forces a trade. So, guys, bishop to here takes, takes. Then he does something. And then I take that pawn. Because this pawn is pinned. How He can't recapture because it's guarded by my rook. So I'm going to have a pawn there. And that's actually threatening checkmate if he moves his queen off of this row. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's good. We have a we have a little bit of a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's a plan. Wait a minute. If I go here, he's not... Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I actually want to send him a message and just laugh and be like, Oh, my God, how did I miss that? <laughs> I am. I'm gonna say nice one. I totally missed that. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Oh well, no big deal. All right. So he might jump back here. How do I get rid of that guy? I if I take, he takes, and then his bishop is pinned, right? If I jump in here with my knight, bishop can't go here, can't go here. He can go way down here. Um, let's start with this move, which takes away a square from the bishop. All right, guys, I have another plan. I have another plan. Okay, we're going to... Oh, I don't know what this means. He said, yoo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not sure what that means. Probably just a language thing. He's this guy is from Indonesia, it looks like. So he might have just not understood what I said. Who knows? All right, guys. I think we're still winning. I think, but this definitely complicates it. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's so bad. That's so bad. So, this knight is unguarded on the same file as my rook. That's something to keep in mind. But I'm going to jump in here, like right now. We're jumping in, guys. Hitting the bishop. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Now I'm just up. Well, guys, I'm still ahead of peace. How is that possible? Didn't I just lose a piece for free? Oh, I was up two pieces before. But I for some pawns. So I think we're still winning. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a blunder. So what I should have done here is when he blocked this, I should have just traded. Like, boom, take the knight. We're trading a knight for a bishop. I'm up two pieces. Why I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, no big deal. We're still up one piece <laughs> for some pawns. Oh, he unpinned. Very nice move. That was a very nice move. Now he can... He still can't take... This pawn is still pinned. All right, so we're going to go in here and go for this bishop real quick. Can't go here, can't go here, can't go here. He's only got one square, which is right there. 
And let's see, what can I do then? I could jump in here, hitting the queen. Does that do anything? I don't know. Really intrigued by the idea of pushing this pawn also. Once... No, I can't because he can just take it. And I don't have a discovered check. So yeah, that doesn't work. So he's going to drop back to here. I mean, he basically has to. Then I could jump in this knight. But what does that do? Nothing. I can jump in here and put my knight on a gorgeous outpost square. The queen has to move, which I don't want the queen to move. You know? We like the queen being here. Pin, because it's a pin on that pawn. But if I jump here, I am... What am I threatening? Nothing. I'm not threatening anything. Okay, that doesn't work. I can't believe I just lost my bishop for nothing. That is so insane. All right, but once his bishop moves, I could jump this knight in to here. That also doesn't threaten anything, guys. What? All right, so he's threatening to fork my rooks. Fair enough. If I grab that bishop and then he jumps here. If I grab the bishop and he takes, then I can react to this threat. Should I just take the knight, you guys? I am honestly a bit tired of this dude. Oh, but see, if I take the knight, then this knight has... He's going to recapture the pawn. This knight has to jump away. This knight has to jump away. So if I take the bishop, and then he jumps here, he's giving up two pieces for the rook, right? Because I jump back, he grabs a rook, I recapture. On the other hand, if I jump here and he takes... Well, then, then I can deal with this. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do that trade. Ooh, I just noticed he could jump here. Okay, he didn't. He didn't. Um, all right, now I am going to get rid of this awful knight. Put my knight on a nice outpost. If he kicks me, what do I do? I might want to trade queens. If I put my queen right here, he can't go here, can't go here, can't go. He can't get away. It basically forces a trade what um uh-oh uh-oh so if we trade off a pair of rooks oh so if i take that pawn i'm in trouble Holy smokes, this guy, I'm playing really badly. Or this guy's playing really well. Hey, I can fork his rooks. He's going to take with check. I recapture. And then he can move that rook. So it's not that great. If I take, he takes. 
I can take that hitting his queen. That's something. Ooh, and that also threatens check. Ooh. Okay. I'm going for it. Oh, but what if he captures with the... Okay, so if I go here, he's almost certainly going to take with the rook. I think that would be my instinct. But if he takes with the queen... Um, I don't know. Let's let's do it. I like this plan. He's pro I think he's going to take with the rook. And that's going to be I think costing him the queen. So, he's thinking about it. If he takes with the queen, oh, what do I do? I guess I jumped my knight in. Oh, he he saw it. Okay, let's let's hit the queen. Again, threatening this pawn. He kind of has to put his queen right here, or here, or here. But I'm going to bring my rook over very soon. Here, I could have taken this pawn. I don't know what would have been better. This pawn is a little dangerous, folks. This pawn, I need to keep an eye on. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, he finds that move, which is correct. Um, let's see, I can grab this pawn. If I grab that pawn, he can go here and give a check, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I losing? Just because I'm down so many pawns? I think I need to go ahead and grab that. He's going to stack his rooks now. Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's going to put his rook here, and what am I going to do? Oh, wait, then I can... No, I can't grab that. Queen is guarding, and there's no weird trick now. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's going to stack. That's the move. <gasps> I put my rook here. Okay, check this out, guys. If he stacks his rooks, I put my rook here. If he takes, he doesn't. He does not fall for it. This dude is scary, scary good. Do I put my rook here to guard my pawn? I, I'm getting really worried about these dudes. Let's go here, perhaps. Oh my god, he's I don't know what to do. I think I'm losing now because of these guys. That is powerful. Like I seriously don't know what to do.
And I'm not really threatening anything, guys. I'm not threatening anything here. Let's see, if I bring my queen here, check, takes, check, takes, takes, and then he's got three pawns versus my knight, I'm dead. I am dead. Well, may I don't know, maybe my, I mean, my king can come over here, and I have a knight, so maybe I'm okay. I don't know. What do I do? Knight back to here, threatening this pawn. Oh, and a fork. But he can just grab this pawn. Oh my god. No, if he grabs... Knight back to here, if he grabs the pawn, that is a fork. Knight back to here, doesn't he just take it though? What am I doing? What did I say? Knight back to here or knight back to here? Yes, knight back to here is hitting that pawn. And if he takes this pawn, I give him this fork. But then he can just put his... Let's see, knight back to here. Hmm. Where can he give a check? He can go right here, giving me a check, and escape the fork. I can put my queen here, guarding my knight, and guarding this square. I kind of like that idea. Let's go here. Now I can bring my rook in. Okay, yes. I need to bring this rook in, guys. And right now, the checking, the only checking square is guarded by my knight. So I don't even want to move my knight. You know? I'm going to put the rook right here. Right here. Oh, this is close. And I'm down to four minutes. My opponent is playing very well, in my opinion, considering he was down two pieces. Now, granted... I basically threw that. He only joined. Oh, yeah. The, sorry, 2021. I was going to say, he's only been playing for a few months. Crazy. So, I, I don't like that move because it lets my queen get in here. Right? And now, we're going to bring the rook in. Bring the rook in. And then, I'm forking. Right? I can take that pawn with the rook. He can't bring his rook over here to defend. If he brings his rook up here to defend, right, then he loses. I, I just deliver this, and only legal move is queen takes, and then I, I, I've got him. I mean... It's not checkmate, but it blocks, it wins the queen. Okay, he's doubling up. Oh my gosh, this dude. Shoot. So now if I put my rook here, he just takes. How about rook here? Rook takes. Knight takes. Queen takes. I'm just losing. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Rook here. Queen takes. That's checkmate. Oh my gosh, you guys. We did it. We did it. Okay. This move did not help. Rook to here, hitting the queen and this pawn. If he takes the knight, I take this pawn with my queen. King is forced back here. I take this pawn. That is mate. So he cannot take the knight. Yep, that doesn't work. Now we're hitting the queen. Yeah, I mean, this is mate. I don't think he... His only move is like queen to here check or something, you know? 
I think he's probably going to take the knight unless he calculates all of this and resigns. Or I'm totally wrong and have no idea what I'm talking about. And that's possible too. Now, if he puts his rook here, I win the queen. That's what he would have had to do. He would have had to put his rook here somehow. That would have been a crazy move to find. But I have a feeling that was the only move that stopped. Well, it's the only one that stops this plan anyway. So queen to here, I take the queen. That's the only check. Queen to here, threatening something. I just take the pawn and then queen to here's mate. That does guard this pawn, but it doesn't guard this square, luckily. Whew. Yeah, how do you stop this? How do you stop this? That's, that's rough. That is rough. Queen takes rook. I just take the queen, and we're well on our way, guys. We're well on our way to checkmate. Even with three minutes, I can win this game now. I'm feeling very confident. He finds it. He sees the problem. Now we're threatening this rook. The rook has nowhere to go, really. Okay. So, Operation Cleanup, folks. We, we're going to clean up these pawns so that he can't get a queen. <laughs> we're going to play a lot faster suddenly. Okay, let's go here. That way we're covering both of these dudes. If, if he pushes this one, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I can defend the knight attack the rook, and attack this pawn. And even when I take this pawn, I'm defending the knight. So, yeah, we're all good. We're all good. I think when you have a queen in the end game and your opponent has a rook, you just want to always be looking for forks, like on every move. Can I fork? Can I threaten a check? Like a weird check on a diagonal. Back rank issues. Just everything. Okay. Okay. Now we have to be careful. Um... Alright. We're... I, I think... Let's see, if I go here, he's going to push, then I take, then he gets a queen. So we don't want that. I think I have to go here and just block it all up, and then bring my king over. Let's see, I also have a check I can give. He's forced up to here. Um, I'm just going to go here and block everything up. There's no rush. Okay, so now we're going to bring our king. Um, over to here. I'm guarding that guy. I'm going to scoop up these pawns and win the game. Good game by my opponent, but 
At this point, it's pr it's what? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. He wants to play on. We're gonna scoop up these pawns too, guys. Um, I hope. Okay, now we're going to do a king and queen checkmate. There it is. Whew. Whew. Good game. Good game by my opponent. Very resilient after losing a piece. Actually, two pieces, remember? I don't, I don't know even how I got the second piece. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, he's just giving up the knight. I don't know what happened there. But let's check this out. Only 76%. Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. All right, let's check this out, guys. We start off here. Things are looking good. See, we already have a slight advantage here. And my opponent... Yep, see, setting up this battery is the move to make. That is a stunning move. It's the best move in this position. And I find... Yeah, the only good move. I, I really thought for a long time there because everything seemed bad, right? That was a bad move, and I found the only good move. Interesting. And that's a bad move. I should have traded off. Okay, yeah, I was greedy. I thought, oh, I'll stop him from castling. That throws away basically my whole advantage. Let's see this. He goes here, he goes here. I take, he takes, he's got an isolated pawn. Is that the issue? Oh yeah, I'm going to win that pawn. There's no stopping me. I don't think. There is no stopping me, guys. Yep, that's what it is. That, I don't believe that it's plus four. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, guys, I did consider that move. I just thought maybe I overthought it. And I was like, oh, I'll stop him from castling. Looks like attacking the knight was a good play. Aha! Yeah, so here the computer sees that black has blundered a piece. He sees it before we do, I think. Or did I see it at this point? I was like... Oh yeah, we're going to win the bishop. I thought it was going to be the bishop. Really? Take, take. Here. And this knight is pinned. So let's say he castles. Oh no, then we win the bishop. So he's going to go, you know, back to here or something. And we play f5, which leads to this. E takes or g takes? Why not g takes? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's still plus six. Bishop takes a2. We grab the bishop. And this knight is still pinned. Oh, man. I can't believe it. I missed that, guys. But you know what? It's okay. We found a some very nice moves here yeah that i just completely missed what a blunder it goes from plus 10 if i just trade it off just yeah, just trade off no problem now it's still plus seven though wow Here, we're finally playing some... Oh, that was a mistake. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That was a... Okay, I, I calculated it totally wrong. So check this out. This is what I thought. I go here. Now, don't I win the queen? Queen, d6. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, threatening checkmate. No way. So that forces the queens off. I The only thing I can do is block. G3. Yeah, I need to get the queens off. Oh, no, he can't do that. That would be a back rank. Rook H4. So computer wants me to go in here and scoop up these pawns, I guess. So I'm still winning here, but it's not great. So I calculated that. Wow, I would have been just stunned. I would have been stunned. I would have been like, oh, there goes all my plans. But my opponent takes the wrong way. And I miss a fork? So, I miss a fork? No! <laughs> What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Yeah, there's no way out of that. There's no checks yet, because this pawn is still there. And he obviously can't give these checks. I would just take him. No way. How did I miss that? Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. That's really unbelievable. How did I miss that? I, I remember sitting here thinking for a while. I was like, oh, he found it. So what do I do now? And I was like, oh, well, I'll attack his queen. Well, there's two squares that attack his queen with the knight. <laughs> there's two squares, and I picked the wrong one. They're both defended by my queen, but one is a fork, and the other is a one-move attack. But it's not a one-move. I think the reason I went here was I wanted this threat, right? And that did work out in the long run. So I'll give myself half credit. That was a big blunder. That was another blunder. I didn't find the move. Oh my gosh. Because if he takes the knight, I take the rook. So that's winning in exchange. This is so crazy, guys. I played so many bad moves. So here, the queen should have done what? Uh, queen takes d7. Queen takes d7. What's d7? Oh, that's the rook. Oh, well, that's what he did. Okay, yeah, so I was completely winning by now. Here I felt it. I was like, okay, this is over. Look at that. We're even finding the best moves here. Blocking is the best move. Okay. Huh? So here... Oh, because it's taking with check. How did I miss that? Oh my gosh. And then I would have... Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. We are playing really well here. We had a couple that weren't the best. But still pretty good. All right, guys. That was a, that was a good end game. That was a good end game. I, I have to say and my opponent played super well. I, I gave back so much advantage when I lost that knight. Or, sorry, when I lost that bishop for free. But even that wasn't that bad, was it? Look at that. Even in this point, it was 4.7. All right, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that game. What do we learn from that game? Well, for one thing... <laughs> check multiple moves don't just tunnel vision on your first plan because i had a fork that i missed uh anyway that's one thing i learned what's another thing i learned um again yeah i i had a hanging bishop that i literally didn't see i just did not see that bishop that was a really bad one um another one that's not a huge deal is i should have traded off the bishop but I couldn't tell you why exactly. Couldn't tell you why. But okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Bye.